Hello, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today marks a new beginning, you could say, or a new mini series in which we go through every single nation, or at least try to, and also the leagues to put together insane squads. And you don't have to build them exactly the way I'm playing it, but you can take one or two cards and it's more like in-depth player reviews and we're gonna have some fun. This year, we're up in the content and we're going big. Well, and small. A lot of these teams, they're gonna have a range of players, 10K, 100K, millions. You ready to see what we're building today? I think so. But before we do that, you know what to do. No, not sit there. Thumbs up on today's video. Subscribe and click the bell to not miss my content. So as you can see, Syria. What are we going to be building today then? Yeah, Bundesliga team. A Syria squad. And in goal, Wojciech Szczesny. He's awesome. Well, usually is. We're going to find out today if he's any good. Right back position though. I want to test out a bit more of a dribbler. This year, especially in like a 4-3-1-2, getting those overlapping fullbacks. So one man for the job is Quadrado. Five-star skills, first centre-back position, Tomori. 79 rated. Okay, it's a little bit low, but his pace, 82. Decent defending and physical. Is he going to work? And then next to him, it is the beast. Skriniar, 80 pace. So every single one of you watching this video right now knows who the left back is going to be. But you're wrong. It's not Theo Hernandez, it's Spinozola. And the reason why we're using him is, well, one, he looks very good, and we're going to give him the chance to prove his worth. And secondly, I'm going to be putting together a very nice French team, Kante, Hogba, Theo Hernandez. So right center mid, you can't have a Serie A team without this man. What a player. So alongside him, obviously, you need a little bit more of that stability. Kessie. So now we need another attacking option. And this man looks great. Zelinski. For the past three years, I reckon, well, maybe four, I've played him in Serie A squads. Right wing position. Ah, uh, you know who it is. No, it's not Lozano. It is a new winger, a new improved winger, Piesa. This guy IRL is just so nice. Instead of using a Mertens up top, we're going for Immobile. 86 pace, 87 shot. 81 dribbling, a target man, someone that can run in behind, and we're going to see if he can provide that. Left wing position, back to my style. Insigne, left wing, you cannot use a Serie A team without having Insigne. So that is the team, but we're going to be switching into a 4-3-2-1, like I said. It's ready. I'm going to fill out the bench and see how this team fares against some OP players. Let's go. Malin, I haven't had uh, or heard good things of, so maybe he's a bit of a fraud. I've got the right camera sense, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Whoa! Whoa! Keeper? Yes! He took way too long. Jesus. Okay, I gotta warm up. It's my first game on. I really did overextend there. His game plan worked. He frustrated me a little bit, then I started biting on the tackles. But don't you worry, Spinozola. Overlap. Lovely reverse pass. Now let's keep him pinned back. He's already sort of resorted to that style, and he's not gonna have any choice. He's got the overlaps on that winger, winger position. Fantastic! Who's that man? Who is he? Is it Chiesa? Beautiful. Phenomenal start already from this man. So now when I got the chance, I'm feeling a lot more secure. Well done, Brella. That fight, that win. Have I got anyone left back? Corrado? Is he going to take his time coming up here? Yeah, get him out wide. Go on, Corrado. He's got his five-star skills, yeah? Oh, yes, he does. You know that cutback's coming. Go on, no, shoot. <sighs> Who delayed that? Number 21. Keep an eye on him. Who was that? Because I hit that first time. Skrinia feels rapid to accelerate. Jesus. I'm going to get so used to this team, and then my RTG side won't be anywhere near as good with John Stones at the back. But Skr... Ooh. Yeah, Skrinia was very, very fast to accelerate there. Oh, nice. That's skill cancel. Just trying it, though. I have to keep putting pressure on the ball holder, though. It's a shame. Who was that? Was that Kessie? We need a little bit more bite and consistency in the tackle there. That was well played from him. He's overplayed that, surely. Yeah. Nice work. Quick fire. Beautiful football. Oh, good, good defending. And that's what I want to get good at as well. It's like slowly but surely... Find uh, find that find that rhythm and then up that tempo quick and just slip it through. Get an easy chance like a cross goal. Half drag back from Samori. Yes, and back to him. Good play. Good football. Love that. Well done. Number seven. Barella. It's Barella. We've had a great start to uh, FIBA 22. We're doing all right over here. Hope, hope you're well and you've got the game. You're enjoying it. Oh, Near post, low driven. 
unstoppable right now. 4-0 cruising. And Immobile gets on the score sheet. Good movement, good positioning. He was, he's still, like, how many goals has Ronaldo scored already? Like, you can argue he hasn't really played that well, but he's still going to get goals. Immobile! Wow. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A pacey striker, strength, clinical. So far. And this is the first. Ooh, Tamori's getting a little bit exposed. What a shot. Tamori is getting a little bit exposed. I noticed it in the first half when I was trying to close down and get some tackles in with him. So I'm guessing his passing game's been pretty solid because I haven't misplaced a single pass with the guy, Insigne. You know, perfection. The most goals I've scored so far on FIBA 22. Oh, Aussie man. Oh, Syria side? Yeah, no, Syria mixture. He's got Pepe. He's got those dangerous, fast attackers. Lozano, Shadow's on the centre-backs. I think I put Anchor. Maybe I should put Shadow on Tomori. Well, this game, I'll test him with uh, an Anchor. If he's still the same with, like, missing a couple of the challenges and that, then the third game, I'll put Shadow Chem solid and see if it feels any better. Yeah, Immobile ain't bad, really, with his control. Oh. Oh. You've been done. You've been done, Insigne. Come on, you got to be burying that. That was a rush pass out, and he's going to get rewarded for it. Kessi, good battling. That's phenomenal. And then Immobile. All right, we haven't started this one too good. In terms of chance creation, exceptional. Let's make sure we got that work rate from the top first. He is, this, this is like what you don't want to do. He keeps passing it. Rushing his passes. He's got through that time, though. He's got through that time. Oh. Oh, really? Was that... Did I... Did I make contact with him? We'll slow it down. I want to see this, then. No, he faked it. He faked it. He left his leg hanging. I saw that. A definite fake. Z zero contact. Right, come on. Can we save this? Insigne is looking to the right. I, I, I can see him looking to the right. He's looked to the left now. All right, look left. Oh, brilliant. As you can see, the business well done, to, Tomori. Better. Ball, that that felt a bit more convincing. He ran. I don't know where he's going. He's, he's running. He's running away. Where's he running? Insigne! Oh, that is so scrappy. Where's he running? Is his controller gone off? One man was running over to the dugout. Is it like the fast input? You've screwed up. Well played. Love that. Beautiful football. It's gorgeous. Lovely passing. We're really able to like separate ourselves from our opponents now. I've got better with that type of dribbling. Just to put it under control, get away, create space and bang. We're moving it a lot faster and taking advantage of his mistakes. It's fine. Little chip. Little chip. Could have played that through ball, but I don't know if they work. Watch this. That is disgusting. But that's fair, though, because he didn't have anyone. I was watching my guy. Watching him all the way, and there was zero movement from my, def from my opponent's defenders. Oh, oh Ilicic in this team. Oh, I don't know about that. I feel like this is one of the best. Who are you? Is that Zelinski with his five-star weak foot? I think so. Hey, it looks like Zelinski. Great goal as well. But third game with this size. He's got Malin. He's got Bruno. Bruno Fernandez, is he? I'm waiting for it. I see you. Spinozola. Spinozola. Too nice. That is my preferred goal right now. I think he's trying to do too many of those 180 passes. Watch the speed in which he accelerates. Damn. I need to just try the uh, the little boost thing. I'm going to try that mechanic, actually. But what a makeshift striker. Him and Paul to have been phenomenal for me. In that role. Insigne, I love that. Perfect. I did it then. Did you see it? The right stick flick or right stick push in and it flicks the ball. It's definitely going to be a year of dribblers again, though. 100%. Oh, that was overly uh, overly aggressive. Yeah, sir. 
I'm super impressed with this card. I didn't think that he'd feel as good as he does on the ball. And I don't know how he generated so much power and it smacked the guy who was closest to the keeper right square in the face. I didn't even think that was possible to arrow it that low. Spinazzola deserves a goal. Spinazzola in that position. We're just running wild right now. All right, fourth game. And he's got Alan St. Max, Mares, Havertz that's supposed to be good. And that defense is seriously OP. Oh, I sort of thought I had him there. Well played, Barella. So fast to get going. Oh, my, what the hell is that? Oh, yeah, what is that? Absolutely scuffed it. Fred or Suzoko? Fred I liked, actually. He surprised me. He was really nifty. Wait, is that kind of player? Immobile. Just really good, he is. So those are the double tap through balls now. They seem pretty good, yeah. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have got onto that, but I did. Back heel. Double tap through a ball. No way through. I'm going to flick over his head. In position. Oh, I thought I said that really well. Brella. How the hell? Oh, my God. Good save. Wow. So, so agile, so nimble. Shame I couldn't do anything with it. Mine. Tamori. That's fine. He doesn't seem, I'll, I'll say it though, he doesn't seem super convincing. And I have played with better center backs on the game, but by no means is he bad. He's still a good option to use. But just the way he's like tackling and that, I'm not like, like really impressed, but he's solid. 2 0. Who's that? Insigne? Good play though. Perfect pass. Spinozala. Easy. Gorgeous. Really clean counter-attacks right now. So really now, it's all about make or break. Which players helped define the team and which ones were basically freeloaders and didn't do anything. Well, in goal, we have Chesney. And the reason why I do rate this card and he has a thumbs up of approval is he's six foot five, which is a great height for a keeper. Cheap as well as performs at a good enough level. Cadrado was putting in work, 15,750. I mean, right now you're gonna have to pay about 19 or 20, but you're buying quality. And with the five-star skills, it just makes him so much more unpredictable and going forward down that right-hand side, really, really good. So with Tomori, it's not as straightforward. 9,700 we bought him for and he's roughly 6.5 to 7,000. And what I did like about the card was obviously the pace, the height, and, and you do notice him that he's in game and he's there. Well, I bloody hope so. But with his physical stats and just the way he's going into the tackles, sometimes he has that tendency just to overshoot or not feel like super secure. And I guess that's because he's 79 rated. But by no means is he a bad player. I've just experienced better cards on the game. So with Skriniar, I feel like he's going to hold his value very well. Not only does he have similar pace to Tomori, but he has actual quality. 86 for a reason. In-game stats are great. 90 defensive awareness. And that's how I feel like he plays. He's very, very good getting into position. And then as you take control of him, feels fast, strong, reliable. 22,000, goodbye. So with this Spinozola, yes, he got on the score sheet. Yes, he got a couple of assists and he's really effective down that left-hand side. Obviously, he's not going to feel anywhere near as good as a Cadrado when it comes to dribbling. But for someone who's six foot one, he moves pretty freely. And four star, four star, good defensive stats as well. I can recommend him. So I don't want to get too carried away with this one. Obviously, I do rate Barella IRL. I'm not going to let that persuade my opinion, though. So how does he really play in game? Pace-wise, if you catch the dribble sweep, jets pass players. Shooting is a little bit inconsistent, as you can see, really around the 70s when it comes to trying to put the ball in the back of the net. Passing game, I think is fine. Dribbling, that's one of the reasons why you're going to be using a Barella. He's very nice with it. Is he one of the best that I've used, though, in the game in that role? No. And then the defending and physical is perfectly fine for what you want. He's a good little player. For 8,000, 9,000 coins, get him in. So the one thing I rate with Kessia this year is not only the pace improvement, but the dribbling. He doesn't feel like a goddamn wardrobe in the midfield. If you're getting put under pressure, he can spin, turn, and pass it off. And then with that comes very good defensive awareness, very good physical, and you notice his presence in game. Really nice on the track back, and just as that stable option, right bang in the middle, He's solid. Zelinski really did impress me. Now, I think it's fair to compare him to Brella. They're in the same positions, playing similar roles. And going forward, I preferred Zelinski. And in front of goal, especially, like he's got better stats. And on the ball, I didn't really see too much in it. And pace-wise, he really was good overlapping. 
five star weak foot, four star skills. And for the price, he's like a thousand coins. He's OP. Test him out. So Chiesa, he's pretty nice with it. What I will say though, and me being brutally honest, he doesn't feel like a meta card. Trying Dembele or spend Dembele is like a freak of nature. He's spinning, twisting, turning, doing everything. In front of goal though, Chiesa is good. Dribbling, that's what he's going to offer but just not seriously meta. And for 14,000, 18,000, or however much he is right now, I think that you might want to wait until he drops just under that 10,000 price, and then that'd be a good pickup. Maybe he won't, but that's just how I feel like he plays in game. Immobile, you know, different style of striker I don't usually use, but one thing that EA have improved are those first time touches and new animations when a player wants to take a ball down. So if it's bobbling into his feet or you've done an over the top ball and it's perfectly timed, and it's not one of those like hitting hopes. You notice one touch, good strength as well from this card and he just jets through. Well, it only suggests he has 76 and then 77 aggression, but he's just big and, he, and he's hard to dispossess and the finishing is absolutely superb. So don't you know, look away from Mbappe. If you're needing a proper striker, this is a card that you're going to be interested in. Good hold up play, very nice assist as well to the other like fast attackers. He was really good. So last player, Insigne. I mean, you expect quality. An 86 overall, he does not disappoint. Dribbling, exceptional, very high standard. And if you want to use that RB control to manipulate the ball, that's one thing that he's very good at. And finishing was pretty overpowered. Some of the shots, I just just literally shot straight at the keeper. And it went in the back of the net. So long shots as well, just on the edge. You're going to get a lot from this card. Now, stamina, obviously, I'd like a little bit more. But passing game, pace, he's really fun to use. So he's got a thumbs up of approval. The only player that I'd actually say was maybe a little bit dodgy was Tamori. The rest of them proved their worth and they were rock solid. So thank you, boys, for watching. Hopefully, uh, you can take some of these players and maybe bring them into your starting eleven. And let me know in the comments what team you want to see next. It can be a full nation. It can be, obviously, a league. Let me know in the comments. But thank you for watching. Take care. Team out. Peace.